Okay, uh, this is uh, the third uh, and final installment of Chapter 7, Section 2 on choosing a legal form of business, and we're going to talk about corporations. I'm on page 191, if you would follow along with me as I read aloud. A corporation is a business that has the legal rights of a person, but is independent of its owners. A share of stock is a unit of ownership in a corporation. There may be many owners who are called shareholders or stockholders. The corporation, not the owners, pays taxes, enters into contracts, and may be held liable for negligence. Jim Monroe set up his company, Monroe Office Supply, as a corporation. He created 100 shares of stock worth $1,000 each. Jim then issued 15 shares to each of three outside investors, which means they gave $45,000 total to be shareholders in his company. Jim kept the remaining 55 shares himself. This means that Jim owns 55% of his company, while outside investors own a total of 45% of the company. The individual or group that owns the most shares maintains control of the company. Every corporation has a board of directors, which is a group of people who meet several times a year to make important decisions affecting the company. The board of directors is responsible for electing the corporation's officers, determining their salaries, and setting the corporation's rules for conducting business. The board of directors also decides how much the corporation should pay in dividends. Dividends are distributions of corporate profits to the shareholders. The company's officers, not the board of directors, are responsible for the day-to-day -day management of the corporation. I'm at the bottom of page 191 with disadvantages of a corporation. Setting up a corporation is more complicated than setting up a sole proprietorship or a partnership. To incorporate, you will need the assistance of a lawyer who will help you file articles of incorporation with a state official responsible for chartering or registering corporations. Because of this, establishing a corporation can be costly. The business must be careful when it decides to incorporate. Articles of incorporation or incorporation must be, page 192, written that fully detail the purpose of the business. If the articles are not written well, the corporation's activities can be limited. Corporations are subject to much more government regulation than sole proprietorships or partnerships. Another drawback of incorporation is that income is taxed twice. A corporation pays taxes on its income, and shareholders pay taxes on the dividends they receive from the corporation. This means that the corporation's profits are taxed as, a corp as corporate income and, again, as individual income. So, it's a negative or disadvantage. Continuing on page 192, advantages of incorporation. If the corporate form of ownership is complicated and costly, why do entrepreneurs set up corporations? Liability is the main reason. Liability is the amount owed to others. The shareholder's risk is limited to the amount of money each shareholder invested in the company when he or she purchased stock. The personal assets of shareholders may not be taken to pay the debts of the corporation. Monroe Office Supply has gone bankrupt, leaving $150,000 in debt. Each shareholder can lose only the amount he or she invested in the corporation so that the outside people who invested $45,000 would lose their investment. Jim would also lose his investment of $55,000. If Jim had set up his business as a sole proprietorship, he would have been liable for the entire $150,000. If the business had been set up as a partnership among Jim and his friends, all four partners would have been liable for the $150,000 debt. Incorporation allows businesses to raise money by selling stock. 
lenders are more willing to lend to or lend money to corporations than to sole proprietors or partnerships because shareholders do not directly affect the management of the corporation the main shareholder of the company can change through the buying and selling of stock without disrupting the day-to-day -day business operations <laughs> Uh, I'm on the bottom of page 192, and I'd like to talk about something called an S corporation. A small corporation can elect to be treated as an S corporation. An S corporation is a corporation organized under the subchapter S of the Internal Revenue Code. Unlike regular corporations, an S corporation is not taxed as a business. The individual shareholders are taxed on the profits they earn as they would be in a partnership. Many companies establish themselves as S corporations because they lose money in their early years. The owners can use any losses suffered from the S corporation to offset other sources of personal income and thus receive a tax break. Shonda Patel works full-time at a large company where she earns $38,000 a year. She also runs Forever Yours, a wedding consulting business. Like many new businesses, Forever Yours lost money in its first year when its expenses exceeded its revenues by $12,000. Since Shonda had set up her corporation or set up her company as an S corporation, she was able to reduce her taxable income by $12,000. Her taxable income for the year was thus $26,000, the $38,000 salary less the $12,000 she lost in the business. And the last thing I'd like to talk about in this particular chapter is something called the Limited Liability Company, or the LLC. A limited liability company is a legal form of business that offers the limited liability protection of a corporation to its owners. The Limited Liability Corporation is not subject to the rules for an S corporation and goes further than an S corporation in providing the benefits of partnership taxation and limited personal liability for all the owners of the business. The disadvantages of the LLC are that the type of business may be limited by state law. A single owner cannot establish a, an LLC and many states limit the life of an LLC to 30 years. Uh, I'm going to post the uh, review questions on chapter 7 section 2 uh, probably sometime tonight, and uh, any questions, make sure you email me, uh, and uh, stay safe and well, and I'll talk to you soon.